Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It is 4 a.m. on Saturday morning and we're all packed up for the start of what will be a 1,900 mile journey. Fiat, I don't know how we've done it, somehow we've managed to pack it so high that it's completely up to the roof of the car. I thought we were going to be packing light. Trailer, with this time not exceeding the maximum weight. So it's literally <laughs> just the bike, nothing else, not even the ramp. You'll notice the number plate there. Mm, Nicely good. secured. A few people said, Freddie, why, why are you buying a bicycle number plate holder? And then I realized why I was too short. Had to get rid of that one and spend 20 pounds on that. But now we have the best setup we have ever had. The Fiat, as I said before, will be serviced in Italy. It's probably slightly overdue, but what a perfect way to do it when we get there. We're all ready to go. We have no idea how long we'll be in Italy for maybe a month or so, we'll just see how we do. But this is the start of what will probably be a four day journey. Unspeakably excited. That's come off. And that's come off within 50 miles of starting the journey and also... Hmm. Yes. I'll have to secure everything here. That... I won't worry about that now. Look at the weather though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the weather, it's glorious. Okay, I'll talk about that. Yeah, I know. But here are the White Cliffs of Dover. Monica, just pan over there. Look at that. White Cliffs of Dover, blue sky. Okay, I'll tidy this up now, but we've reached the port. I'll just tidy this up. That's about the worst state I've ever seen it on. Yeah. It's I know. weird how bad it's got. Wow, loose. Luckily, I'm well prepared, so this time I have my tool set with everything that I need. So, I'll get this back on and then tighten that. I just find it very weird that that's come so loose. Okay, so. Maybe put two. I may put some gaffer tape on as well. Okay. Get the tape is back on. <laughs> Can't believe it, yeah, 50 miles in. <laughs> hmm. Tell you what I'll do. I'll do two cable ties instead. Yeah. Or maybe three. Yeah. Okay, I'll do three Just cable ties. Case. Yeah. Okay, three cable ties and that should do it.
Irish ferries. This is the difference it makes going out of season. When we were coming back from Tenerife and we got the Calais to Dover ferry, it was £300 booking on the same day with the car and trailer. Now, car and trailer, £126. It's fantastic that Irish ferries are now doing this route as well. Right, once we get into Calais, we need to immediately get out of France because the French are all on strike at the moment. Petrol stations are closed. There's shortages everywhere. I've checked on Twitter. Some people say they've gone to four different petrol stations and they're all out of fuel with huge queues. So completely forget about France. We're going to go to Belgium and then down into Germany where Monica's booked us an apartment for the night. That's five and a half hours away. So if we can make that by about 6 p.m., we should have a fairly nice, relaxing evening and at least have done a, what I would say is a fairly decent first chunk of the journey. So if all goes well, I think we will be kind of 30%-ish through our journey. Bearing in mind, you have to do the ferry, which always takes a little bit longer, but perfect start. As you can see, it's just stunning. Mm -hmm. Stunning blue sky, turquoise water, the emerald here of the Irish ferries <laughs> ship. That's w beautiful. Water coming in. Water coming in. <laughs> you always get a warm feeling, anything Irish. You always get a nice warm feeling. I love oh, it. Oh, you are quarter Irish. I am. And of course I've got my Irish passport. That's how I'm allowed to do it. A lot of people often ask, it's because I'm very, very lucky that I've got an Irish passport so I don't have to worry about any visas or anything. Mm -hmm. lucky. I should say one other thing just before, just before we enjoy our coffees. I don't think I've ever had so many people say, uh, Freddie, when you go to Sicily, please, please be careful. If you don't lock your bike, it will be stolen. And if you leave stuff in your car, it will be stolen. I've had people saying they've had two caravans stolen, like just pickpockets, motorhomes being stolen. Are you I, scared? No, no, but it's gonna be interesting what the reality is like. Mm. It's, it's just interesting. I've never, ever had so many people saying, be very careful. Lock it or lose it is basically the <laughs> feeling uh, with Sicily. So I'll be fascinated to see, to see what the reality actually is like. stopped for a coffee break and there's an annoying thing about the Belgium service stations you can use lose they're fine but it's 80 cents which I guess is okay but you need cash so you have to take out a whole load of cash but why can't you just tap with a card so frustrating we've done quick trip update we've done 251 miles as I speak it's currently 20 to 2 We've got 230 miles left to do to get to our overnight accommodation in Germany. And completely by chance, I didn't actually put this into the sat-nav, there are no tolls at all for the entire journey to this German accommodation. So it will be completely toll-free, which makes a very big difference. I'm about to do the first fill-up of the trip. It'll be interesting to see how much that is because in England I filled up from empty last night and that was £52. So I wonder how the German prices compare to the British ones. The trailer, it's now completely fine. Since tightening up the ratchet straps and everything, it is rock solid everywhere. Number plate, apart from the damage there, all, all fine. It's now, it's definitely the best setup that we've ever had for the trailer. I would say now, 
I would say it looks respectable actually. The weather's glorious. It's about somehow 25 degrees in Belgium in October still. Beautiful, beautiful weather. I really hope it carries on like this because it's been a stunningly nice day's driving so far. Right, four hours left. Aim is still around about six to seven o'clock to get to our accommodation. So, got to hit the road again. I think one of the lights stopped working. Oh really? Yes. On the trailer or car? Car. Do you want to check? Hmm. Yep. The left On one. the front? Yep. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I do actually have incredible, <laughs> I can't believe it, I actually have spare bulbs. Do you? Yeah, I do actually, it's incredible. Oh, wow, well For done. once, I'm organized. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that tomorrow morning. Okay. That is, well, we've arrived at our accommodation. It's, it's very some, dark. It's somewhere in mid-Germany, in essence. We've done Wait four, a second, let me come this way. That's a bit better, yeah. Uh, it's somewhere in mid-Germany that we've arrived to. We've done 481 miles today. It looks like we're going to have three more 500 mile days or so. Our apartment is that one there mm -hmm. with the light on. Yeah. We'll take you in there because I think Monica's done a good job. It's just 66 pounds a night, which I think is incredibly reasonable. So we'll unpack the bags, take you in there, and then we'll wrap up the day. It's only about 7.30 which is quite pleasantly nice and early, actually, so we should have a good night's sleep, but nothing too rushed at all. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside. Everything beautifully simple, contactless. All you <laughs> need to do, enter a code. Monica and I were wandering around for about 15 minutes, not <laughs> figuring it out. But once you know it, it's simple. I love this contactless stuff, it's so good with Airbnb. Simple, but very nice. Very simple, yeah. Everything you need. I'm, I'm amazed actually, we got up at three o'clock this morning. I thought I'd be more shattered, but it's a much, much nicer finishing at a reasonable hour, like 7.30, not like when I was going to Barcelona and literally passing out in a bush <laughs> at about 10 p.m. So we'll wrap it up there. I think I said, but I think we may have another three three days, 500 miles each day. So uh, I don't know if we'll have to speed it up or just enjoy it at this pace because it's been quite nice and relaxing. So we'll wrap it up there. Thank you so much everyone for coming on. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Oh, just give you an update. Fiat's been perfect, trailer's been perfect since. Thank you all and we'll see you in the next one.